Last night, while randomly, aimlessly browsing the internet, as we all tend to do, I came across uh, a product called Neverwet. This is a Rust-Oleum product now. It's a super hydrophobic material coating that you put on things to repel water and liquids and all that kind of stuff. Uh, saw some really cool videos throughout YouTube about it. Had to go to Home Depot and buy a set. And we figured I'd just play around with it because that's what I do sometimes. So. I've already applied it. It's a two-step process. You apply uh, a base coat, you have to wait a half an hour, and then you apply a top coat, you wait a half an hour. And what I did with this piece of cardboard is half of it has it on there. I can see I actually applied it on a little bit too heavy, and half of it does not. And if you've never seen what a hydro super hydrophobic material does, this is just regular water. You can see I'll pour on the side where regular, just regular cardboard versus what happens when I pour it on the super hydrophobic just kind of beads up immediately. You can see it does it on both sides, but then on the regular cardboard. And we can do some cool stuff like uh, playing with water this way. So we have a lot of computer equipment sitting around as well though. So I thought what would be the next logical thing to do? And obviously it's to you know spray it on some computer equipment and uh, see if it still works see if we can actually make useful of this. So I took, you know, maybe the least expensive computing device I have sitting around, a Raspberry Pi, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray it uh, with the Rust-Oleum Never Wet and see if we can still get it to turn on. minutes later so we're gonna go ahead and apply the second layer of the uh, never wet All right, and we just wait 30 more minutes. Here we go, this has uh, been the full curing time now. We've sprayed our raspberry pie uh, with our super hydrophobic, never wet spray. And uh, I, I, we were thinking about submerging it, but we're not gonna really submerge it yet. We're gonna, we're gonna test the waters first by just dousing it in water and seeing how it reacts and then see if we can turn it on again, so. Oop, oop, look at that, look at that. All right, seems to seems to have done all right. Let's take a look at this side. <laughs> it's just cool to see. Look at how much different my fingers react to the water versus it on this. So uh, there you go. We've we've coated the Raspberry Pi in water, and uh, it's not wet. So take that for what you want. Now let's go turn it. Let's see if we can turn it back on. Well guys, mostly bad news. Uh, we had we brought our Raspberry Pi in and although we weren't filming at the time, we hooked it up the first time and we got it to post, we got it to boot, we got to a prompt, um, but we shut it down and uh, got the video camera ready and now when we do it, we get this. Keep an eye on the power light here. It will uh, flicker and slowly fade off and there's a noise coming from some of these components down here so there appears to have developed a power a power delivery problem so what do we learn from this uh don't do what we did unless you're very very careful um it's not as easy to to coat electronics as you would think but you can still have fun with the uh, super hydrophobic fluids or uh coatings um and this is probably not gonna stop us. We're probably gonna figure out another device we can try this on and maybe be a little bit more precise in how we do it. Uh, but uh, for now, uh, we blew up our Raspberry Pi.